Hello? Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome to our English class. How are you? How are I'm you thinking. today? Fine. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Welcome you all. Thank you so much for coming here on time. Well, it's actually very valuable um, to see you always um, on a specific time after you have a very, very um, um, busy day because of your jobs and different activities. But I can feel this motivation, this motivation to do a great job. And um, it is, it is a, a very awesome experience. So people who surround you, you know, feel good because they say, wow, Jennifer, Jose, Dalila, Veronica, they are taking this time to, to be here. Instead of watching TV, to be sleeping or doing some other things, you dedicate this time for studying. At the end, it's going to be very successful and there, there will open a lot of doors and opportunities about English because, as you know, English open many, many opportunities, many doors. People always have jobs with English. There are always opportunities with English in the country, abroad, wherever. So it's a process. So that is awesome that you are taking advantage of all this, this uh, especially course. So um, let's just start today with your class. And But before, I want to ask you guys, what do you remember? What we studied yesterday? Tell me. It's a quiz. It's a quiz. Tell me. Activa su micrófono y me dice, ¿qué estudiamos ayer? ¿Qué vimos? What we studied, what we did, what comments you were socialized in the class. Tell me a little bit. Yes, tell me, tell me. We studied about WA questions with verb B. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's right. We started that topic and this is very interesting. Well, we will continue working uh, with some topics that are related to the to the English course, as you know, and let me share with you right away the presentation that we have for this class. Did you check it uh, because I sent it to you? Let's start right now. Okay, look at this. Um, over here. One second, one second, one second. Much it says. All right, much better now. And we're gonna talk about work, about activities, about different things. And also we will be able to talk a little bit about jobs and the workplace, about personal experience. We have uh, three, um, three questions that I want you to socialize and think about it because later, we will have the opportunity to express in the class. Como saben, ustedes tienen eh, pues todo, lo, todo el derecho de consultar alguna cosa en inglés, por ejemplo, teacher, how do you say this in English? How do you work with English? Etc. So we have these uh, following uh, statements in, that we have here, and I need a volunteer for helping me to read. So, and Jose Daniel, can you help me to read the equations we have here in this slide. Answer the question. Um, yes, uh, read them. Answer the third question. Take a short time to describe what you're doing in your job. Do you like what you do? You? Is there some time you would like to change a house to your job? Thanks. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I want you to think about and take a short time to describe what you do in your job. Well, in my job, 
I'm responsible of this one. I'm working with this one. Uh, I have to do these activities. I'm a manager. Well, I'm an employee in this area, or I work as a, in the reception area. So you describe a little bit about your job. Number two, do you like your do you like what you do? This is a good question because we have great jobs, we have uh, amazing jobs, but sometimes we are like, oh my god, I think I don't like this. But you say, do you like what you do? Yes, I love what you do because I have a good interaction. I enjoy what you do, everything. Is there something you would like uh, to change as what's read in this minute? Is something that you would like to change about your job? ¿Qué le gustaría cambiar de su trabajo? Eh, algo que le gustaría cambiar el ambiente, el lugar, the, 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 the building, maybe the environment or the resources, the electronic devices. O el jefe, I don't know, maybe. O, o si usted el jefe, pues ni modo. <laughs> so you know how it is, right? So I want you to think about that. And also, I will give you a couple of minutes to think about your possible answers. And you have the chance to like talk a little bit about this one. After that, we're going to be working in a small groups to speak a little bit about these questions. And also don't forget to take notes and ask questions if you have for that. And um, I will be very glad to help you. If you have any questions, you can ask. And also we will have the opportunity to um, give you the opportunity to say, teacher, I am ready. Ya estoy listo y quiero compartir. Entonces, let's go. Let's do it, right? Entonces, uh, I'll give you a moment. Meanwhile, you analyzed these important and valuable things about your job. Hi. Hello? Hello? Yes. Um, hi. You can try. Oh, uh, Mario? Yes. Hi, Mario. Uh, are you ready? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, you should try. Don't worry about it. Uh, the, uh, people say in English, don't be shy. O sea, no seas tímido, right? You can try. Okay. Uh, okay. ¿Cómo se dice tímido en inglés? Se dice child look at the chat don't be shy okay. go ahead be shy okay, yeah. teacher um para decir tímido Excuse me, what is the question? Um, um, timid. Timido. Yeah. Ah, uh, shy. Shy. Timid. ¿Para qué se usa? No, no. Eh, timido. Timido. De una persona tímida. Okay. Uh -huh. Shy. Shy.
Ok, ¿Alguien, ¿alguien está ya ready? Como dicen, ¿alguien está ready? ¿Todavía no? Hey, I can, I can try it. You can. Ok, Mario, you can start now if you want. We, we are like giving you the microphone. Let's go. Ok, the first is uh, take a short time to describe what do you do in, the, in your job. Uh, I am sales executive. I work in uh, Pedidos Ya. I, I am visiting a different restaurant to work in the ad. Uh, number two, do you like what, what you do? Uh, uh, I love my job. I like uh, all, the, all the work because I know different people, different restaurants and different cities. And the number three, is there something you would like to change about your, your job? And no, nothing. Only. Okay, fantastic, Mario. Thanks a lot. What, is, what surprises me is like, you are like, you know, in the, in the way that you like what you do. And when you like what you do, you enjoy, you uh, feel motivated, you feel encouraged. And that is very awesome to listen to you talking about your job. Okay, uh, Jose Fernando, that's okay. Talk about what you do. Um, Me? Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, Adriana. Okay, Adriana, you can, yeah, share it with us. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, one person said, uh, what do what you do in your job? I am principal and teacher at the school in Japan. Mm, the question, do you like what you do? Uh, I love what you do. Uh, three questions, I say something you would like to change about your job. And yes, my colleague, it's a job. <laughs> okay, interesting. All right, thank you so much for your honesty. <laughs> that was very nice to know a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's it's great. Definitely, it's very very awesome to know a little bit about jobs. And bien, vamos a pedir, vamos a elegir alguien más que sea eh, que nos comparta y luego lo, lo vamos a practicar ya en los breaker rooms. So who will be the next? Who will be next one? Yes, you can do it, Jose Fernando. Eh, puedo hablar acerca de los estudios, don't worry. O sea, lo importante es qué que hace o qué está estudiando y si le gusta lo que está estudiando y pues si hay algo que le gustaría cambiar de carrera o de estudio, I don't know, you can talk about that. Lo puede enfocar en sus estudios. Don't, don't worry about it. Ok, who's next? I can try. Perfect. Go on. Kevin. Kevin, yep. Okay. The first question and take a short time to describe what do you do in your job. And now I work in an office and I have system legal with because I work with a lawyer. I like my jobs because I have the opportunity to learn that different things at every moment and I visit that different places is more important in my career because I visit an everyday BMT and Cetracen, the government and CSG, FGR, and this institution and I visit it at every moment. And I like to change my boss because, and I try to develop my activity and every moment, but, and I have problem with my boss because he has, he had a problem with me and every moment. That's it. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for that. And actually, uh, we're, we know a little bit about jobs, about what people do, and that is actually very valuable. Okay, I think we have a short time to um, work in a small groups. We are 20 right away, 20 students. And that's mean that we will have 20 participations right away. So for that reason, we are going to try. Eh, lo que sí les voy a pedir es que como somos un equipo, usted eh, 
comparta con sus compañeros. Si alguien no sabe alguna palabra, puede consultarla o me escribe aquí también directamente. Entonces, eh, lo importante es que, que podamos trabajar en equipo y que nos ayudemos mutuamente. Ok, um, let's begin now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Ok, perfect. So, let's start. We have around five minutes to socialize in the small groups. Let's work. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hello. Me sacó de la aplicación, no sé por qué. Um, quiero ver. Lo voy a mandar al 7. Uh, I will send you to group number 7. And okay. uh, this group. Okay, get ready with the with this. Um, Mario and Miguel. Are you there, Miguel? Are you there? No, uh, hi, Mar sorry, sorry, teacher. I, I dry now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But in the few minutes, I go, I, I in my house. Okay, perfect. Babies and um, it's very very interesting. Interesting. Um, I like to teach the Bible. I like uh, master, um, no teacher, teacher of the Bible. Um, Young, the job is to make clothes. I use and, industrial sewing machines. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Te puedo traducir qué quise decir. Y el profe que nos diga. Hey Shia. Okay. Next. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Go Verónica, ahead. o lo hago yo. Hágalo usted y yo de último. <laughs> Porque así me ayudan ustedes. Okay. Uh, uh, I will describe a little of my work. I work as the senior pastor of a church. I am in uh, meetings with other institutions, institu ¿cómo, cómo institutions, institutions, institution, with pastor, with uh, national leader, I got sermon, conference and counseling. Um, uh, I drive, drive my, my car in the uh, uh, country. Uh, I love I love what I, I do on uh, uh, world will not try to uh, think. Um, I I love my 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 job. 
is is um, um, existing como <laughs> emocionante excitante <laughs> exciting exciting exciting, exciting. okay um, solamente solamente <laughs> sí thank you Lo último. Ok. Eh, I. I. Call. 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 ¿Cómo es? Call center. No. 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 Eh, I am secretary. Eh, send email. Um, res, res, receiver people no sé si se, aquí se dice teacher recibo gente it's like receipt 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 ah uh, ok uh, mm, es variable lo que hago <laughs> vaya Ahí se oía el... Leather, eh, gray leather, eh, attend my boss, etc. De la two sería, do you like what you do? Eh, I, I live in Cucatancingo, no sé si entendí dónde vivo. Le están preguntando ahí qué que es lo que le gusta más hacer en su trabajo o en un lugar donde usted trabaja, según me entiendo. Uh, repítame la pregunta, por favor. Es, do you like what you do? O sea, qué es lo que usted, a usted le gusta hacer más. Ok. Su... Eh, no entiendo cómo decir recursos humanos, atender a las personas. Y si no, atención. Help, help me. Hoy oh, ya terminó. Okay, uh, I want you to help me to de develop the following exercise. So for this, um, we will try to uh, define the following jobs. So I want you to help me with that. And tenemos acá, por ejemplo, listen to your teacher and read the following requirements in a company, then matching it with activities they perform. For example, tenemos production, tenemos research and development, tenemos the purchasing, Tenemos marketing, tenemos human resources management, accounting and finance. Tenemos el departamento de producción en una empresa. Siempre hay departamentos de producción. Tenemos eh, 
eh, de desarrollo e investigación. Está el departamento de compras, que en inglés es purchasing. Tenemos el departamento de marketing, donde se, pues, se distribuye eh, todo lo que es la, lo que la empresa se da a conocer en el exterior, de marketing, todo lo que promociona, de human resource management, recursos humanos y tenemos a uh, accounting and finance que es de contaduría y finanzas. Y tenemos las posibles respuestas. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Tenemos keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Tenemos también control and supervise the production, workforce and, and inventory. Tenemos también develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Y tenemos el último que es buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Para esto vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a trabajar en pequeños grupos y usted va a tratar de unir el, la, la acción, el departamento con el significado, con lo que hace. Y luego pues vamos a responderlo de manera general. And En preguntas sobre vocabulario. Pero anteriormente. Purchasing. ¿Qué significa? Uh, purchasing. Es de compras. Es el departamento de compras. Purchasing. Ah, ok. Thank you. All right. Okay, so let's socialize a little bit. Eh, José Fernando dice que no escuchó bien. Usted va a, va a unir el departamento con lo que hace el departamento. Aquí a la izquierda tenemos los departamentos, production, purchasing, marketing, eh, recursos humanos y el de contaduría. Entonces, a la, acá a la derecha está el, lo que hace cada departamento. Entonces, usted va a unir a eso. Así que lo vamos a hacer en pequeños grupos y luego lo socializamos. Because of the time. Eh, veamos. Eh, production. Um, ¿Cuál podría ser el de production? Think about it. Um, with um, the, uh, key to raw materials. Uh, buy and acquire, you say? Control and supervision the production, work phase and inventory. Exactly. So we're talking yeah. about production. It's like, um, it's control and supervise the production, workforce and inventory. Vamos a ver, la vamos a trazar acá. Veamos si hay alguna que no nos parece, pues la, la, la quitamos. Don't worry. We just, we, we just do that so we can do that. And I'm going to use this one. So production is like control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Okay. That makes sense. Continue thinking about that. Esperar unos minutitos para que lo vean unos minutitos para que lo, lo analicen, lo completen todo y luego lo socializamos. Okay.
Take care. Is develop yes. develop the thing new or improving existing products or process. Develop uh, develop design new yes. or improve. Yes. Uh, what could be this one? What could it be? Restaurant develop develop. Uh huh. A research and development, develop and design. Yes, this department is in charge of creating things, right? Investigan, qué es lo que el cliente quiere, qué es lo que las personas buscan. So that makes sense. Okay, what is the next one? And purchasing. What do you have for purchasing? What is that? Buy and acquire materials. Comprar. Purchasing. Yes. For the, right. of the organization. Is this one? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Purchasing. Um, is buying and acquire raw materials, production equipment for the use of the organization. Makes sense. I like it. Six keep the financial record transaction, involving monetary inflow and outflow. Six. Is the number six. Uh, accounting and finance. The check yes, the fine. Keep the financial record of transactions, right? In, in, involving monetary inflows and outflows. That's right. So we got the we got that. So that's cool. We have also the number four and five. So you can help me with that. In human recurs in recreate the select um trying new employment for the right job in the company. Uh, employees. Marketing. Uh, is the human resource is like recruit. Yes, that's right. It's recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. So that is a human resource and man management. Ellos se encargan de ver quién es la persona indicada para el trabajo. Who is the person in charge? Okay, only, only four. Receive. Marketing. Oh, marketing is a first. Receive and identify what customer. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Están de acuerdo o hacemos un cambio? Yo creo que hay que hacer un cambio, Ticho. Hagamos un cambio, hagamos un cambio, don't worry. Vamos a ver, vamos a, a decir de que eh, vamos a hacer un cambio. We're going to make a change. Tenemos, por ejemplo, um, ¿cuál es that? Vamos a mover acá. Hoy oh, sí, hoy oh, sí. Vamos a usar otro color. We're going to use red one. Marketing es el que se encarga de... Eh, recluta. Develop, Develop design, design or design or existing product or process. Entonces decimos que research and development se encarga de... Research and identify what customers want and need at the right Exactamente. Place. Great job. Porque es, se encargan de investigar qué es lo que quiere el cliente. Qué es lo que el cliente anda buscando. Uh, Entonces, yes. eh, y el de marketing... Develop, design, new or improve existing products or process. Or processes. In este caso, el de marketing eh, desarrolla yes. diseños nuevos. Porque es yes. eh, porque esa es la parte de, de, de mercadeo. Improve yeah. existing products or processes. So maybe. We could like match these two, two statements, right? What is the meaning research? Eh, como de investigar.
Okay. So we could see here this part and we know a little bit about these companies. Vamos al siguiente. We go with the next one and let's uh, continue with the following exercise here. So we're going to erase that and we go. Don't forget that the class has been recorded. Eh, pues las clases siempre quedan, eh, queda la grabación y pues tenemos algunos, algunas preguntas como what do you do? What do I do? I supervise the production force. Where do you work? I work in accounting department. When do we go to the meetings? Um, we go to the meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. So what I want you to do, guys, is to um, have a short time to, and to think about some questions. Um, como vimos en el anterior, hay preguntas acerca de, de lo que hacemos, utilizando el WS questions. Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? When do you go to, to the meetings? Uh, how do they plan the marketing? What do I do? What time do you take breakfast? Preguntas en general. Y vamos a contestar esta, el siguiente ejercicio. Eh, este dice, create questions based on the answers. So what I want you to do is to think about the possible equation according to the answers. We have the first one. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. La respuesta es, tengo que escribir un reporte acerca de la producción cada viernes. Entonces, ¿cómo creen ustedes que podría ir la pregunta? ¿Cómo podríamos formular esta pregunta? What, when, who, what, which? What are you do the Fridays? What do you do on Fridays? Podría ser. What do you do on Fridays? ¿Qué haces los viernes? Ah, I have to report, to write a report about the production every Friday. Usted, usted escribe ahí. La siguiente dice, I work in the blue building. Uh, ¿Qué pregunta podría ser? Mary and I start working at 10 p.m. Uh, with the time in order to create a new product. Para eso, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted eh, piense cuál podría ser y nos puede ir compartiendo, por ejemplo, en el chat. Eh, las respuestas, usted me dice, por ejemplo, la, the number one is this one. Y you, you say number two and we will socialize. Así que le voy a dar unos minutitos y cuando alguien termine me dice, teacher, I finished. Ok, si ya tienen las primeras, las pueden ir escribiendo en el chat y las vamos a ir leyendo. We're going to read them. Si hay algo que le podemos modificar, se los modificamos. Let's go.
Okay, thank you so much. We say uh, for the number two is what building do you work in? Mm -hmm. mm. Unless that you say in what or which building. Oh, that's okay, but makes sense. Where do you work? That's okay in the equation, in the equation mark. Yes, um, where do you work? In check spelling, like W-H-E-R-E. -E. Check that. Okay, what is your time of entry to work? Mm, I think this sentence is mm, not as structured as we expected. What time do you get in? Or what time do you start to work? Uh, you can say start to work. Or what time do you start working? This is like the most common. Um, what time do you start working? That will be, when do you start to work? Y tiene que ir siempre el do. When do you? When do you start working? When do you start to work? What time do you start working? What time do you start your job? So we can use this. What do you do in your job? In your job, that's okay. And when do you, when do you work? Um, cuando trabajas, habría que ver el contexto. Okay, yes, I think most of the most of the answers are most of the equations are related to the statements we have from the one, two, three, four, and five. I think it's okay. Uh, what do you do in your work? Or what do you do in your job? I think both are correct. The fourth uh, question is what is the new or what is the new product? What's the new product? Let me see. We design and others create the new product. Okay, makes sense according to the equation number four. What do or is or the specialty in the work? Habría que estructurarla. What do you do or what is the specialty in the work? Um, what is the specialty in the work? Or what is the new product? Or what do you do? We design and others create the new products. Or how do you distribute the product? Ah, nosotros diseñamos y ellos crean. So maybe we can also use that. Who makes the new products? Um, ¿quién hace el, who makes the new products? También, eh, me parece muy bien. Who makes the new products? To be also a good equation. There are different ways that we can um, formulate the equations. That's, that's valuable. Great job, great job. In which building do you work? Okay, so you can um, you can uh, ask these questions to compare that could be this building or the other one. So I think it's okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think it's, it's okay this part. We continue with the next part of the class and I want you to go on to the next activity. One second and thank you so much for sharing your equations. I think it's very clear and I think it's okay. Your turn. Now, what I want you to do guys is you had to create equations and with the words provided below and then ask the equations to a partner. Así que yo les voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted escriba unas preguntas que usted le quisiera hacer a un compañero. Preguntas generales, por ejemplo, where, what do you do? Where do you work? What time do you have lunch? What time do you start your job? Um, what position, what is your position in the company? Are you a boss? Are you a manager? So I want you to think about these questions. Vamos a escribir. No les especifica acá, pero quiero que escribamos. Eh, vamos a escribir tres preguntas. Tres preguntas quiero que formule. Tres preguntas. Three equations. Because of the time, it's like not three equations that I want you to answer. Quiero que responda. En este momento, tres preguntas va a ser. Puede utilizar where, why, which, when. Y luego lo vamos a compartir con un compañero. Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que eh, formule las preguntas. If you have questions or doubts, you have the freedom to ask questions. Ok. Y no se les olvide tener la cámara encendida, que es un requisito eh, primordial y ustedes ya lo conocen. No es algo nuevo. Teacher, in my case, my computer doesn't have a camera. Excuse me? Hello? Thank you so much. Okay, and vamos bien. You have uh, any comment or questions you, you, you may ask. Uh, Jose, do you have the equations? Yes. 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 Ex excellent, that's okay. And Dalila, do you have the equations? Not yet. Not yet. ¿Cuántas lleva? ¿Cuántas preguntas lleva? Two. Two, okay, we're missing one, cool. Uh, Jennifer, Hernandez, how many equations do you have? Uh, Sonia Mendoza? Are you there? Está por acá. She's not... Okay, she's not here. Uh, Cecilia? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have the questions? Yes. Yes, cool. That's great. Um, Evelyn Beatrice, do you have the questions? Yes, 
Hi. Yes, do you have the equations? Tres, three. Yes, you have three equations. Okay, that's awesome. Bien, eh, vamos a dar unos minutitos. Le vamos a dar específicamente five minutes because most of you have the equations. Usted le va a hacer eh, las preguntas a su compañero y viceversa. Eh, para eso tenemos five minutes. Así que vamos a formar los breaker rooms y vamos a reestructurarlo para que ustedes puedan participar with your partners. Let's see. Así que, yes, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. Vamos a entrar a los breakup rooms y lo que ustedes van a hacer, okay, uh, thank you, Jennifer Hernandez. She, she says that she's there. So you can activate the microphone. Don't worry about it. Y usted va, va a preguntarle a su compañero y viceversa. Así que entramos en este momento. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, Adriana, eh, Sonia y Miguel no están acá, no se han agregado, creo que, no sé si la señal, quiero ver, vamos a poner number seven. Let me see. Mario, oh, he's driving, I think, Adriana y Sonia. Jocelyn Vasquez. Thank you. Appreciate it. When did? ¿Cuándo comenzó en el trabajo? O sea, ¿hace cuánto? ¿Hace cuánto, ¿Hace Ajá. cuánto tiempo? Ajá. When did you start working? Ay. Ah, ¿qué horas comienzo a trabajar? No. ¿Cuándo comenzó a trabajar? ¿Cuándo? Ajá. Ay. The clinic. In 28, eh, 2008, como se dice? 20, eh, 20, uh -huh, 20, uh -huh. or 2008. Uh, 2008. 2008. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Solamente. Okay. Mm. Mm. Jennifer. Le puedo hacer a cualquiera, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yeah. A Esmeralda. What, where do you live? 
mentoría. ¿Dónde vivo? Y con ellos van a poder ah. primer paso. I live in Chile, Santa Ana. En el país también existe la academia de enseñanza tecnológica. What time do you go to bed? De iniciar una carrera dentro de la academia. Easy, very easy. <laughs> I mean, oh, and... No, Ana María, perdón. Ah, okay. ah, I go to the bed at uh, 11 p.m. Eh, Finish, teacher. Thank you. Tenemos que, tenemos que, tenemos que perder la, el temor y tenemos que hablar, mi modo, aunque nos equivoquemos. Aunque nos equivoquemos. Creo que ahí tendría que ser. Eh, sí. Pasajeros, sí. como dicen, partes en español y partes en inglés. <risa> Gusto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, finished? More yes. or less? Yes, finished. okay. Awesome. Awesome. That, that's the way. We had to, like, don't be afraid. Speak. Practice. Remember okay. that this is not our language. So, because it's not a language that's worth it. A pesar de que no es nuestro idioma, pues, vale mucho más porque lo estamos dominando. We have this domain about this language. So this is the motivation. Every day, something new. Every day, practice. So it's good. I think we will go back to the main section right now. And Continue. Okay, I think all the best we are here again. Um, congratulations guys for the work done. Eh, felicidades ahí por, el, por la participación, por el trabajo que están haciendo. Créanme que así comenzamos muchos. Yo comencé así desde cero, pues si mi inglés no era muy bueno y a medida con el tiempo, pues uno va aprendiendo paso a paso. Y a pesar del tiempo, uno nunca deja de aprender, siempre sigue aprendiendo. Ustedes me ven, tengo alrededor de 17 años de dar clases de idioma inglés. Entonces, eh, ya 17 años de trabajo. Eh, y aún así yo digo, bueno, y he trabajado con muchas empresas americanas, con americanos, con traducción, interpretación. Y créanme que siempre se aprende. Siempre se aprenden cosas nuevas. Siempre estoy aprendiendo, siempre estoy practicando. Entonces, es, así tenemos que ser con el idioma. Ok. Bien. Yes. How old are you? Uh, I'm 36 years old. 36. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, para finalizar por el tiempo, eh, aquí estamos ya en, el, en, el, en la plataforma y eh, recuerden que tenemos esta semana que completar la sección 1 y 2. Están súper cortas y fáciles. Eh, yo las revisé y aquí están sección 1 y 2 para esta semana. Así que eh, mañana tenemos clase, por cierto, por el día que por lo de las no. lluvias. Entonces eh, haremos el esfuerzo para poder reunirnos okay. el día de mañana y eh, conectarnos siempre a la misma hora. Y recuerde terminar la sección 1 eh, y 2, que pues, prácticamente lo que hemos estado viendo es esto. Es un repaso para ustedes. How do you spend your day? ¿Cómo pasas tu día? Work, study, what you do. Entonces... Que por ahí me comentaban. Algunos, por ahí me comentaban. 
Yo tuve eh, complicaciones con la 1.12 de la sección 1, nada más. ¿Y qué pasó? ¿No logró completarla o, o sea, cómo? Sí la, sí la respondí, pero no sé si serán los puntos o qué, que me estaré equivocando. Eh, bueno, igual. pero usted lo puede volver a hacer, lo puede hacer nuevamente. Ah. Eh, tiene la oportunidad de hacerlos. Ajá. Eh, yes. Sí. Este, fíjese que yo por cuestiones de trabajo no he podido completar mis tareas. Podría mañana después de la clase. Sí, claro. O sea, todo, ah, bueno. todo este tiempo está habilitado. Desde aquí, sí. en la tarde, cualquier hora que usted pueda hacerlo, hágalo. Porque ahí están sí, bueno. los ejercicios y eh, están bastante prácticos. La verdad que para ustedes pues, es bastante práctico. Eh, por ejemplo, lo que hemos estado haciendo aquí, los posesivos, my name... Uh -huh. Eh, my name is, my name are, algo que ustedes ya han estudiado previamente. Entonces, y está bien corto, miren, y le da eh, enviar. Entonces, ese sería para nosotros el reto, eh, sección 1 y 2. ¿Ok? okay. Yeah, yeah, igual, yeah, yeah, yeah. De, de hecho, hay alumnos que ya completaron la parte 2, oh, por ahí me escribieron, sí. así que felicidades para los que ya lo hicieron. Eh, bueno, han tenido el espacio y la oportunidad. Así que, yeah. see you the next class, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Thank you. Good night. Good eh, va a compartir las clases en alguna plataforma, eh, eh, perdón, en Drive o, ¿En o qué? así en los... las clases de, de PowerPoint. Eh, esas las estoy subiendo aquí al grupo de WhatsApp. Pero solo tengo la, la 3 porque cayó hoy en la noche. Eh, quiero ver. Si gusta, la voy, a, la voy a buscar y se las voy a compartir nuevamente. Gracias. Ok. Buenas noches. Ok, good. Night. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.